Well, we've been waiting for a while, and thanks to New York Comic Con, we finally have images of the Decepticons from Transformers Siege. Just like we did with the Autobots, we're going to go from smallest to biggest, starting with the Airstrike team. These little jets boast some unique features that we haven't seen in the line yet. Apparently, they're the first MicroMasters in the line that actually have elbows. But what I think is more interesting is that the two jets can combine into a weapon mode that is very reminiscent of the Star Saber from Transformers Armada. So I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting some kind of Star Saber repaint in the future. Up next we have a couple of familiar faces. We have Ravage and Laserbeak from the Soundwave Spy Patrol. Now of course we're all familiar with these two. We've seen them in countless incarnations. Uh, but I definitely feel like Laserbeak is the better of the two here. I'm digging the Cybertronian bird mode, but Ravage's cat mode leaves a lot to be desired. He's really uh, thick on the legs. Honestly, he kind of looks more like a bear than a cat. And of course, in cassette mode, they can be stored in Soundwave's chest. Although the official promo images shows them being used as sort of like armor plating. Up next we have Skytread, better known as Flywheels. It seems unlike his buddy Battletrap, Skytread's jet and tank modes don't have individual robot modes. At least as far as we've seen so far, but it doesn't seem likely. Next we have Refractor, better known as Reflector. You can throw your BotCon 2016 reflectors in the garbage because this is a way better version of the same characters. It seems like each member can form some kind of gun, but if you have three of them, they can all combine into the camera. And it looks like the lens piece on their chest mode is removable, so if you end up getting three, you can take the lens piece off the other two and have the other one be, uh, I forget what the individual names, I want to say Spyglass? But yeah, I like how like their individual weapons can combine into the tripod, that's kind of neat. Next up is Brunt. Now, I wasn't too sure when I saw pictures of this guy who he was initially. Initially, I thought maybe he was some kind of like Cybertronian pre-Beast Wars Scorpionok or something. Because that's what his like claws and head and color scheme totally remind me of. No, but apparently he's Brunt, who was this little tank thing that came with uh, Trypticon. Although in the G1 Trypticon, he didn't transform. But now they've given him a robot mode based on some kind of generic Centurion robot in the IDW comics. But I can totally see this guy being repainted and maybe remolded as Scorpionok, maybe uh, Tankor, maybe even like Stryka or like a really beefy Tarantulas. But anyways, he's kind of like the Decepticon version of Six Gun in that he can separate and become armor and weapons and stuff for the other bots. Next up we have Starscream. Honestly not much to say here. It's Starscream. He's a Tetrajet and honestly I don't think they did a great job with this guy. You can totally see his legs and stuff. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought with some of the other Tetrajet like Starscreams we got in the past like the Cybertron one we would have had a better G1 Tetrajet Starscream than this. Although most people seem to be digging them so I'm not going to harp on them too bad. Next is Soundwave. Now this guy, in robot mode he's very much G1 Soundwave. But his alt mode is some kind of weird, I don't know, some kind of ship from Star Wars, like a like an X-Wing kind of thing. I honestly don't know why they went with this. We all know that he's supposed to be a lamppost. Even in their diorama, they have him posed as a lamppost. So this kind of half-assed spaceship mode is, you know, kind of laughable. Next is Megatron. Honestly, there's not much to say. It's a very good looking G1 Megatron. He turns into this Cybertronian tank, which kind of reminds me of, I want to say the Titanium Megatron. I think the second version. But he does come with a cool sword that, that looks to be homaging his original G1 sword that the toy came with, but he never used in the show. But yeah, it, it, it's a good looking Megatron, but you know, we've had so many tank Megatrons in the past. I wouldn't blame you if you skipped this one. And last but certainly not least, we have Leader Shockwave. Now this Shockwave is really interesting. He looks to continue the Leader Evolution gimmick 
that Ultra Magnus and the Power of the Prime leaders had. But instead of combining with like a trailer or something, he just kind of combines with himself. It's weird. It's almost like there's two shockwaves in this set, but there's not. It looks like there's the core G1 shockwave that turns into a gun slash submarine. But then he has this accessory pack that looks like he took apart a bunch of other shockwaves and glued them onto himself to turn himself into some kind of super shockwave. This is the most interesting one of the bunch, because I gotta be wondering, what are they gonna repaint or remold this guy into? Because we all know that Hasbro likes to get more than one use out of their molds. From the way he's riding on top of his, like, accessory thing, it reminds me a lot of how Star Saber used to ride on top of his jet trailer thing. So could they remold this shockwave somehow into Star Saber? His super robot mode also reminds me a little bit of Star Saber. Mainly like the, the feet and the backpack. I don't know, they'd have to do some like heavy, heavy remolding. But it's weird how much this reminds me of Star Saber. I could also see them redoing this, and this is what I predicted initially, is them redoing this as Megatron. Because again, the super robot mode also reminds me of Super Megatron or Ultra Megatron, if you're familiar with that character. So I could also see them doing something like that, and honestly that would make more sense. But yeah, I think that's everything we saw from this New York Comic Con. Let me know what you guys think of the Siege Decepticons down in the comments.